morning, everybody, and welcome to another Sunday morning vlog. Good morning. It's your old pals, Dale and Paula, yet again. <laughs> <laughs> we are not going down to the Strip today. We are going downtown. Oh, my goodness, yes. We're going to do some history. We're going to look at some old and new, and boy, are we having a fabulous dinner. We are heading down to the famous Binion's. We are Binion's Gambling Hall and Hotel. And let me tell you, folks, if you're into reading, if you're into history, this book called Blood Aces is the story of Benny Binion, extremely well-researched, great read, and we referred to this in putting this video together. Who gave that Blood to Blood Aces came from our pal Dave in Oklahoma. Dave. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> and also, we were just talking before we, uh, before we put the cameras on, we have a lot of history books about Las Vegas, and we should show them to you sometime. We should. You've also been asking about all those pictures, those signed autograph pictures behind Dale in his office. Maybe we'll show you those, too. Absolutely. All right, get ready, because this adventure starts right now. Our downtown adventure begins here at the corner of Fremont and Maine. Some venerable and historic hotels dominate the skyline at this point, that is for sure. Duck under the canopy and we are on our way to Binion's Gambling Hall and Hotel for a little tour. Binion's is of course named for that most colorful of figures in Las Vegas history, Benny Binion, whose family owned and ran this property from 1951 until 2004. What an amazing legacy. Binion's occupies a full block on Fremont from 1st Street to Casino Center. Back in 1951, Mr. Binion purchased the El Dorado Club and Hotel Apache and opened Binion's Horseshoe. In 1960, he bought up the Boulder Club, and in 1988, his sons added the Mint, doubling the size of the property. Since 2008, this historic casino has been in the care of TLC Casino Enterprises, and she is looking pretty good. Out front, there is the endless sound and color of the Fremont Street experience. On the casino center side of the building, here is a great western touch. The Cowgirl Love Cantina features saddles for bar stools. Over here on the mint corner of Binion's is a hugely successful venue that opened in 2019. Whiskey, liquor up and down, the brainchild of current owner Terry Caudill. It's in a prime spot right next to the First Street stage with a street level bar and lots of enticing signage that just lures you upstairs to the restaurant. On your way to the hostess station, you get a close-up view of the beer kegs. And over there is their famous Scratch Kitchen. The restaurant features multiple seating areas and bars, but the focal point is the 6,500 square foot rotating bar. Up to 25 guests can sit at the bar while it slowly rotates and provides spectacular views of Fremont Street. It's the only open air rotating bar in the downtown area and the windows retract. The Whiskey Liquor Up menu features exceptional appetizers, burgers, sandwiches, and pizza, and everything is handcrafted daily in their scratch kitchen. Nothing is frozen. Paula actually had lunch here last December during Scotchmas, and just look at these pulled pork sliders. Let's check out this historic casino floor. Today's version of Binion's Gambling Hall is just under 78,000 square feet with multiple doors opening onto Fremont and a nice selection of slots, including my favorite, 
Fortune Cup horse racing slot. Hard to find many nods to the original Frontier Riverboat theming, although this carpet is actually from surplus rolls saved by Benny after it was first installed back in the 1950s. This area is reserved for daily slot promotions. And there is still a lot of space dedicated to poker. It was Binion who originated the World Series of Poker in 1970 with just a handful of invited friends playing No Limit Texas Hold'em. And the rest, as they say, is history. On the casino floor are a few dining options. Binion's Cafe, which also has an entrance on Casino Center, serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The burgers are made daily in their on-site butcher shop, and we've been told that the hangover burger is a sure bet. Near the Hotel Apache entrance is Benny's Smoke and Barbecue and Brews, which is open daily from 4 to 11 p.m. The menu features ribs, chicken, and brisket with all the fixins. plus an exclusive selection of microbrews. And there's also video poker at the bar. On the west side of the casino is Binion's Deli, open from noon to eight. The menu offers deli sandwiches, salads, burgers, and dogs, plus some amazing frozen custard. But we saved the best for last. Top of Binion Steakhouse, one of the true gems of downtown Las Vegas and not to be missed. Stick around, we're having dinner there in just a couple of minutes. When we were outside on Casino Center, did you happen to notice the vintage sign on the east side of the building? Yes, there's actually a hotel here, a boutique hotel called the Hotel Apache, in the same spot as when it was first opened by the Silvani family back in 1932. The hotel has been closed since 2009, but the current owners, TLC, refurbished 81 rooms and reopened them in 2019 for a unique guest experience. Over its 90-year history, Hotel Apache and Binion's have put up some big stars and public figures. And guess what? Some of them are still here. Employees report being touched and seeing shadows, and the hotel has even been featured on Ghost Adventures. Your very own haunted hotel stay awaits you right through these doors. Inside, next to registration, is the hotel's vintage staircase. <laughs> Imagine what stories this thing could tell. And in here also, they are promoting the haunted aspect of the place. On the Binion's website, you can book a standard room, a double, or even a suite. The furnishings have a vintage look to them, reminiscent of the original Hotel Apache circa 1932. Let me tell you something, my friends, Binion's is a fascinating place. Heading back for our dinner engagement, we noticed some big doings at the plaza, so we headed over for a closer look. Last month, the plaza unveiled plans to transform its Main Street facade and have it all done by later this year. The carousel bar is already under construction below the dome, and doesn't this rendering look terrific? It will be 2,500 square feet and seat about 100 guests. And adjacent to that, they're building the downtown's first smoke-free, social media-friendly gaming area. On the south corner will be a new pink box donut shop with a 16-foot long glass display case offering more than 70 donut flavors. And up on top, 
Oscar's Steakhouse is getting a rooftop patio that will accommodate 225 guests. We cannot wait to see this come to life. All right, we've got a reservation, so we're heading back down Fremont Street to Binion's for dinner. Step off the elevator onto the 24th floor and back in time to a romantic era at the incomparable top of Binion's Steakhouse. This is our first time here, but already we are loving the ambiance and the decor. Opinions. OMG, this is amazing. The restaurant first opened back in 1965 as the top of the mint and has been renowned for the vintage decor, romantic atmosphere, and killer views of Las Vegas. They just reopened this spring after a two-year pandemic shutdown during which they did a little reupholstering and sprucing up. There's a cozy bar. And three dining rooms with your choice of seating options. The colors are warm reds and golds with a distinct Victorian vibe. There are unmatched views of the Las Vegas Valley wherever you look. On the east side, you can see all the way over to Nellis Air Force Base. To the west, our host told us they watched the construction of Stadium Swim at Circa from the arrival of the first crane. Now here's a fun fact. Stadium Swim at Circa is accessible to guests not staying at the property for a cover charge that starts at $20. Looking south towards Arizona, there's the Golden Nugget. And there's the canopy of the Fremont Street Experience. We mentioned earlier that Binion's acquired the Mint in 1988. This framed art commemorates all the past and present owner-operators and is full of great information about their individual contributions. And this 1960s snapshot captures the original top of the mint where we are sitting right now. The menu here is legendary, with many favorites retained since the early days. Top of Binion serves only black Angus beef, aged a minimum of 40 days, cut in their in-house butcher shop and charbroiled on an open flame. Dinner begins with a complimentary breadboard featuring warm loaves of sourdough and cheese bread. Our server also set down this selection of coarsely ground salt. Sea salt on the left, Hawaiian black lava salt, and smoky salt on the right to enhance your steaks. Well, howdy. We are on first course. We decided to split a caprese salad with burrata, balsamic, tomato and some field greens. It is delicious and it's a huge portion. You can split among the two of us. It's a huge portion. Loving this so far. Well, we just had our salad, a little caprese salad, and of course a little bit of bread. And of course you have to have a uh, lemon sorbet to cleanse your palate before we get the main course. So we're going to do that now. Let me just taste it. I feel cleansed already. It's just wonderful. This place is fantastic, folks. Just fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, I got the 10 ounce filet mignon. Let's go over to Paula and see what she got. Check that out. I got a New York strip, also 10 ounces, and risotto, which I almost never have a chance to have. I love risotto, and the vegetable of the day is asparagus. It's an all-inclusive price. The sides are not a la carte. Big thumbs up on that. All right, I'm gonna give it a shot. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm using a smoky sea salt to uh, flavor it. Oh, oh my gosh. That is superb, absolutely superb. 
seriously. Well, I cheated. I already tasted the steak. It's amazing. Now I gotta go for risotto. I love risotto. Creamy, buttery, big thumbs up. Now, on camera, Dale's probably jealous because he loves a New York strip. But this is so tender, so beautiful. Look at that, you guys. Yum. Yep. Mm. Great flavor, tender, juicy. Mm. For the price, you cannot beat this meat quality. It's great. So those steaks were so big and so delicious. We decided to forego dessert. We talked about creme brulee for a minute, but changed our minds. I decided to go for a liquid dessert. I have a Macallan 14 on the rocks. Cheers, everybody. What a fabulous dinner this has been. Okay, let me just say, that was one of the best dinners I think we've had in a long time. In every respect. <laughs> The ambiance, the room, the view, the service. We had oh. multiple servers. They were fabulous. Not only that, but they, t they told us the history. I mean, it was an amazing experience that we had. It really was. We got there early. We were one of the earliest tables seated. They put us in the most fabulous table in the whole place, I think. And they treated us so beautifully, told stories as we were going around taking the video and the pictures. And the food, of course, those steaks incredible steaks a lot of times before we go to a restaurant i'll go and look at the reviews of it and this one had a couple of things on it and i just don't what those people were talking about i didn't we didn't see it <laughs> it was fantastic and i'm going to recommend it i'm going to give it five stars and i think if you have a special occasion go to binions yeah and i tell you what if you want to get scared get yourself a room at the apache <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to the Hotel Apache. I am very intrigued by it, and I love what they did with it. They used, you know, the highest quality, brand new um, televisions, but then they have these vintage telephones <laughs> from back in the day on the bedside table, yeah. which I think it's is very so cool. cool. That staircase is so cool. It is. All right. Let's talk about Benny, huh? Yeah, there's a lot of firsts in Las Vegas that are attributed to Benny Binion, and we wanted to just give him credit for some of those. First of all, he was the first guy that said, free drinks to every gambler, no matter how much you're playing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and that's a big plus. That's a big plus. <laughs> <laughs> he also really cared about the comfort of the people in his establishment. He was the first to replace sawdust with carpet. Right. He was the first to install air conditioning in the casino and yep. the hotel, and he installed electric elevators in the hotel, which was another first. He and his family were amazing. And they cared for that place for, you know, more than 50 years, and uh, just it's such a legacy to leave behind. So I actually made a list because there were a couple of other things. He provided limo service for people traveling to Binion's from the airport to Binion's and back, which was a first. And he was the first to institute high limit and no limit gaming at the tables, it's which matter, was a yeah, huge hit. <laughs> that was a big, big hit, I'll tell you that, because there was a lot of people that really wanted to go all out, and here they could. And they did, yeah. that's exactly right. So Binion's was a huge success from the get-go. So we want to mention one other kind of nostalgic thing that maybe if you've ever been to Vegas or to Binion's, you might have done, and that is, of course, the display of the million dollars. Right. So we have a picture of Benny and his daughter from the 1960s when he instituted that display, and then there's a picture of us <laughs> a couple decades later. <laughs> yeah, a few, a few decades later. <laughs> and last but not least... He always honored his Texas roots, and he was instrumental in bringing the National Finals Rodeo to Las Vegas. And believe me, that was a big deal. It's still a big deal to this day, and in fact, if you ever go down to the South Point, you're going to see this fabulous statue of him. All right, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is Future Dale here, and I just have to tell you a story about this statue. Its first home was outside a honky-tonk in Fort Worth owned by a friend of Benny's. When old Billy Bob went broke in 88, the statue was unbolted in the dead of the night and spirited away to Las Vegas, all 3,000 pounds of it. It was installed at 2nd and Ogden downtown with proclamations by the governor and the mayor. 
Fast forward to 2008 when Binion's was acquired by Terry Caudill and TLC. Owner of the South Point, Michael Gaughan, asked Caudill if he could have the statue, and here it is, pride of place among all the rodeo memorabilia. So, next time you're in the South Point, stop and say hi to Benny and one of his daughter's favorite horses. Right as you're walking over to the Equestrian Center, um, honoring Benny Binion's contribution to the NFR. And you know, back in the day, he actually paid the entrance fee for the Cowboys I didn't to know get that. into the events. I, I didn't think you did I, know I that. I did not know that. Yeah, he cared that much about the, the rodeo. So we're, we're always gonna have a soft spot soft spot for Benny because of his association with NFR. And can I just say that if you're hour in town, you got an extra hour if you're down on the strip, go check out the, uh, the uh, South Point. Yeah, we actually love the South Point, and we keep saying we're going to do a staycation there, and we'll get there. <laughs> yeah, they have they have one of the most beautiful equestrian centers you've ever seen. <laughs> and they have a lot else going for it. There's a lot under that roof. And Benny did, did, does a sale, I mean, the, in his name now every year, right? Yeah, as part of the rodeo, there's the Benny Binion's Buck and Horse and Bull Sale. Say that fast five times. <laughs> not better not. During the rodeo, <laughs> and uh, that, that happens uh, down at the South Point. So, anyway. All right. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button. Anything else you want to tell these nice people? Paul. Hey, we hope you enjoyed this little trip to Binion's. It's a classic. Hope you had a good time. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Everyone. Thank you.